There's another amazing find that's been made in China. Paleobiologists have discovered little tiny microscopic sponge embryos in the layers of rock just beneath the layer that documents the Cambrian explosion. These embryos were soft-bodied animals. Some fossilized 60 million years before the Cambrian explosion. They're eggs and embryos, which are preserved in thin crusts of mineralized material, a phosphatic material, on ancient seafloors, which suggests that the chemistry of the seawater in those days was somewhat different than it is today, because this method of preserving fossils disappears during the Cambrian, and it's not around today. So we're lucky that we have these thin crusts with little tiny fossils in them. This is highly significant because one of the most popular explanations for the missing Precambrian fossils is that the Precambrian animals were too soft and too small to have been preserved. Since 1999, Paul Chien has studied fossil embryos and helped develop techniques to analyze their structure. By treating with acid, you can actually remove the rock and isolate the embryos, and then you get um, around pebble-like or sand grain-like samples. And, uh, and then uh, we look through some tiny little ones, uh, larger ones up to one millimeter in size. And we found about the range between 500 and 800 micrometers. We have mostly sponge. And then uh, I start breaking up these balls and, and try to uh, start looking inside. And with the help of the electron microscope, I was able to see the detailed subcell structure within these embryos. Chen's work on these fragile remnants of Precambrian life raises an important question. If these lower strata can preserve an embryo, if they can preserve a soft microscopic embryo, then why couldn't they have preserved the larger ancestral forms that supposedly evolved into the Cambrian animals? In other words, if you can preserve something as fragile as an embryo, why couldn't you, in the same strata of rock, preserve the immediate ancestor of a hard-shelled trilobite? So the idea that the fossil record is too damaged to provide us with at least a general picture, uh, that idea just doesn't wash.